Welcome into another Fallout 76 video and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at my beginner's guide to obtaining your first backpack in Fallout 76 and also how to upgrade it. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So, if you're here and you clicked on this video, you've probably come here because you've wanted an answer to the question, how do I carry more items and increase my inventory size? If you've been around for quite a while and if you're a long time veteran of the game, well this guide is probably not for you, but if you're new to Fallout 76 and just recently started playing, well sit back, relax and let's make this process a whole lot easier for you. Before we get into where and how you can obtain your first backpack, you need to know that there are two variants of backpacks in the game that come in the form of both a small backpack and a standard backpack, and depending on your character level, the carry capacity will increase all the way up to max level of 50. That's right, if you didn't know, max level in Fallout 76 is level 50 for all players. So if you just recently started playing, and more than likely you've probably seen other players roaming the wasteland whose levels are in the hundreds if not thousands, well don't worry, technically once you've reached level 50, you've hit the player level cap, so when it comes to crafting items such as backpacks, weapons and armour, the max level you can get these items to the majority of the time will be level 50, and that also applies to your backpack. Now, to start off and you want to find a quick way of obtaining a backpack, all you need to do is to head to the Morgantown Airport. Once you've arrived here, just make your way inside, but be prepared, the interior of the airport will be heavily fortified and guarded by Scorched. However, you will need to make your way up to the top floor of the airport, and also make your way to the northeast corner, where you'll eventually come to a room marked Employees Only. A quick note, if you've just started playing 76, the main storyline of the game will naturally guide you here anyway, to complete part of the responders quest line, but in order to get up to the employees only room and if you've made your way to this door you will need a key card to gain access well all you need to do is just turn around head down these stairs and located inside the room you enter and directly in front of you will be a door that you can open which will have the key card that you need which is sitting in the hands of a deceased security guard once you have the card head straight back up and open the door and once you've entered the next room just clear the room of scorched and head to the employees only room located at the back of this room once you're inside you'll see an overseer stash box and inside of it you will find a small backpack that you can pick up and from here you can equip it to your character. Now don't worry, in the footage you see in front of you I already claimed this backpack a very long time ago, but rest assured you will find the small backpack located inside. So now you have your first backpack and you're finding things a whole lot easier. You're able to carry more and you're starting to manage your inventory space a little bit better, but oh no, you're leveling up, you're taking part in multiple events and quests and now starting to accumulate all these weapons, armor and outfits, you feel you need more space, maybe even a bigger backpack. Well don't worry, here's where the standard backpack will come into play. Now, be warned, in order to acquire the standard backpack, it will require you to jump through quite a few hoops before you can actually get the plan, as you will need to complete the Order of the Tadpole questline. In order to start this quest, and again, be warned, there are several stages to this quest, which is set up to help you naturally understand some of the mechanics of Fallout 76, such as reviving other players, gathering materials to craft items, and general quest completion mechanics, such as go to a specific location, clear out an area, or clean up an area, and return back to claim your quest rewards. You know, the basics of the general day-to-day -day wasteland adventures. But in order to start this quest, you need to head to Camp Lewis and talk to Scout Leader Jaggy the Mr. Handy in the Pioneer Scouts Camp located in the Toxic Valley alongside the shoreline of Grafton Lake. Once you've spoken with him, he will send you on multiple quests throughout Appalachia where you'll need to demonstrate kindness, helpfulness, bravery and growth. And don't worry, each of these particular acts will have a detailed description on what you exactly need to do. For example, in order to demonstrate kindness, all you need to do is revive the down player. And an easy way to do this is by taking part in public events with other players. And if someone gets downed, well, that's your cue to do what you need to do and go and revive them. Or if you have a friend who can down themselves and then let you revive them, well, that will be a little bit quicker, but don't worry, there's plenty of ways and opportunities to do that. But again, each act will have a particular requirement so make sure to follow each of the quest stages exactly how they're laid out. Now, eventually, once you've completed all the required objectives and stages in order of the tadpole, Scout Leader Jaggy the Mr. Handy will reward you with various tadpole-themed rewards, but will 
also reward you with the standard backpack plan that you can then craft at an armor workbench and he'll also reward you with a standard backpack you can equip to your character straight away and again depending on your player character level you can craft this backpack all the way up to level 50 and then the higher the level the more carry capacity it will grant your character so now that you have your second backpack and things are looking even better in terms of your inventory space and your carry capacity you're probably thinking well I'm done now I have loads of room I can carry much more but now you're finding as you level up even more and you're completing more quests and now finally you've completed everything in the game and now you're thinking to yourself I've accumulated all these weapons and armor I now need even more carry capacity what do I do do I just drop the things that I don't need sell things I don't really want to sell just to make room in my stash and my character's inventory well yes you can do that as I always believe if there's things that you're not using why not sell them or give them to other players who might need them but there are ways to actually increase your carry capacity even more and specifically when it comes to your backpack now straight off the bat the easiest way to increase your carry capacity is to try and allocate as many points into the strength category on your character as the more points you have in strength the more you can carry but that won't apply all the time because depending on your build and your playstyle, you might need to allocate special points elsewhere but here's where backpack mods will actually come to the rescue that's right, located at several different locations across Appalachia, you can find tadpole and possum vending machines, and specifically in possum vending machines, you'll find backpack mods that will help increase your carry capacity or reduce the weight of particular items such as chems, food and much more. But the mod you want to be looking out for that will increase your carry capacity even more is the high capacity backpack mod, and as you can see, it will cost you 8 possum badges. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, that doesn't seem like that much to purchase a mod like that, and well, you would would be right but at the same time too in order to acquire more tadpole and possum badges it can be a little bit tedious and in order to acquire more badges you can find an entire list of challenges with possum and tadpole rewards located in the challenge section in the main menu and when you scroll down to world you will find an entire list of challenges you can complete in order to acquire more badges now don't worry these aren't the only methods to acquire badges as you can complete public events such as campfire tales located at camp adams just above the nuka cola plant and upon completion you have a chance and again you have a chance to earn possum and tadpole badges as a reward. On a side note, if you're trying to complete the various possum challenges set out for you in the challenge section of the main menu, one of the requirements in the majority of the challenges is to complete particular tadpole and possum exams. In order to complete these exams, you will need to head back to Camp Lewis in the Toxic Valley. And just right of Scout Leader Jaggy, you will find terminals for each exam located inside of the exam center cabin. Once you're at a terminal, all you need to do is answer four or five questions with each exam. And once you've passed them all, it will automatically complete part of the exam challenges that you need to complete alongside the various other requirements with the possum challenges and to make your life that little bit easier i've provided a link in the description below to the fallout wiki page which provides all the answers for every exam that you take part in however if you prefer to answer the questions without the answers that's entirely up to you but there is a guide there to help you get through the exams that little bit faster but once you've saved up enough of the possum badges that you need you can head to any possum venue machine and purchase the particular mod that you desire and especially when it comes to the high capacity mod and when you learn it you can see will significantly increase the carry capacity of your character's inventory. Now, on the other hand, since the days when backpacks were first introduced, we've seen several items added to the game such as carry weight boosters, which will help increase your carry capacity for 30 minutes. And these can be obtained either through ranking up throughout the scoreboard or by purchasing them through the Atomic Store. But these kinds of items aren't really beneficial as a long-term strategy, as firstly, one of the ways to acquire them is through monetary value, which I never promote when it comes to making your experience easier. But to know that it is an option if you so choose to. Other than that, you can look at different ways to increase your carry capacity, such as allocating more points into strength, using aid items to increase your strength, or generally most of the time, if you're a low health build and use unyielding armor, your special stats will naturally increase anyway, which will also help boost your strength and then in turn boost your carry capacity. And lastly, of course, if you have armor pieces that have the plus one strength legendary effect, again, that will help increase your strength, which in turn will increase your carry capacity. And there you have it, my big beginner's guide to obtaining your first backpack and increasing your carry capacity. Hopefully today's video helped you out in a big way when it comes to carry capacity. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to click that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification button to go up to date with everything follow related here on the channel. And before we head on out, I want to say a massive thank you to all of our channel members and subscribers over here on YouTube, as it means the world to me that you enjoy my content and the work that I produce. 
For our Bethesda fans, if you find yourself shopping on the Bethesda store and would like to support the channel, you can use my creator code BTPINEAPPLE043 to receive 20% off of your purchases at checkout. And if you'd like to support the channel in a more personal way, consider checking out my merch store which has an array of t-shirts, mugs and other pineapple related merch which I'll leave in a link in the description of this video. And lastly to you, the viewer, the person who stumbled upon this video, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Vault Dwellers, stay safe out there in the wasteland. Welcome to Vault 93, and I'll catch you all in the next video.